It's Bob with BikerNet TV. We're here with Ammo Can Pete. And we've got a really cool looking fuel here. Tell us about the bike and the company. Well, this is one of the Buell XBRRs. This is one of 52 ever built. This one here is number 16. And uh, we bought it uh, to do land speed record racing. Uh, uh, we sort of had to uh, tell tell the Buell factory that we'd actually road race it for four races, which we did. And uh, now we've brought it out here to Bonneville. We've set a record at Maxton uh, on the East Coast Timing Association at 168.9. And uh, on Monday here, uh, we turned 172 mile an hour. Uh, but the inclement weather has changed that, and today we were only able to do 166 with it spinning up going through here. Uh, it's a real neat bike, uh, basically uh, uh, 141 horsepower big block sportster. It's about 1,348 cc's, and it's uh, fuel injected, and uh, uh, we haven't had to adjust it since we've gotten here. Uh, we did it prior to going to Maxton, and the computer's been compensating for it, and uh, we've been getting help, a little bit of technical help from the factory, telling us what to do and what not to do with the machine and that, and uh, uh, it's been fairly reliable. It's been a real steep learning curve for myself and my mechanic, Slow John, Slow John Stauffer, and... Uh, Was he Slow John before he came here, or did you give him that name since being here? No, no, he, he got that name road racing 883s back in the twin sport days. And that he and I road raced together uh, about 20 years ago, and I put it down, and I haven't picked it up for about 17 years. And then we went to, uh, to do some testing at Jennings, and then we went to uh, Birmingham, and then we were at Daytona during the Arma, Arma Vintage days, racing in the uh, in the uh, uh, Sound of Thunder and Battle of Twins F1. We finished in the top 10 with the bike, and basically just trying to get the gearing straightened out so we could go to Maxton and that. So, so. Uh, when we went up to Maxon, we did a real good, real good job with that. Set the record immediately, and uh, packed up and came home basically, and, and sent uh, Eric Buell and Henry Duga at the Buell factory uh, got copies of the records, and uh, you know just for their use, whatever they wanted to do for their use, and. Uh, we decided to uh, make the pilgrimage out here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of us here from the East Coast Timing Association. Bill Warner's here, uh, Brad's here with his bike, and uh, we've, they've all set records, and uh, I'm trying to attempt to set a record here. The record in this class is 155 for uh, modified partially streamlined pushrod gas at, at this size uh, engine at 1350. So uh, uh, we've already done uh, 11 miles an hour faster than that, so we're gonna try and do it here on these next few runs see if we can get that done. What uh, What does the bike weigh? Oh, if I knew that, I'd tell you. Actually, it's, factory says it's 374. Uh, we haven't had it on any scales or any of that, you know, so you add fuel. It takes, uh, factory told us it took, what, 4.4 gallons of fuel, and it only takes about 4.3. Four so, you know, just, you know, whatever it weighs. The salt, we're probably over 500 pounds. You put enough salt on this thing and it jumps up. It jumps up. It's got a lot of salt on it, too. Now, there's a story behind Ammo Can. Tell us how you got how the, the company got its name. Well, uh, like I said, uh, uh, when we got the bike from uh, from Ross Meyer Harley Davidson's down there in Daytona, uh, we didn't have a starter. So we borrowed a starter from uh, Arma's uh, premier 500 vintage winner, uh, Pat Mooney. And uh, we stuck this little electric starter on here and s s pushed on the thing, and it immediately spit spit the starter out onto his uh, onto his good foot. And uh, uh, since we weren't tall enough to really sit on the bike, I had to go inside, and grab my 20 millimeter ammo cans, and put them on each side of the rollers so I could stand on it and drop myself into the seat to get it fired up. And that's when we got it fired off the very first time. So, so, so 20 millimeters is the key. Yeah, well, 20 millimeters means they're big ammo cans. They're 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 about 18 inches high. You know, they're they're tall enough for me to stand on, and they're sturdy enough that you're not going to fall over like the small ones. So, uh, so my friend Jerry Watts, he's a BMW nut, and he's looking at it, and we're trying to figure out what name while we're standing there looking at the bike, and he says it looks like Team Ammo Can to me. So that's how we got the name. Of that's a great story. It looks like you are moments away from getting sent down the track, and uh, we wish you a lot of luck and. Hope you break the record. We do too. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. This is Bob with BikerNet signing off. Hey, this is Keith Bandit Ball from BikerNet Television, and BikerNet Television is sponsored in part by Metric Thunder.